Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about fields in Java. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So what in the world is a field? Well, it's just a variable inside of a class. So for example, if this is a class, we'll just say this is a person class, we have this name here. This is an example of a field. So a field is literally just some variable that we can assign a value to it. So when we instantiate this class into an object, we can assign a value to this field such as Caleb. So this is a specific value that's given to this field. So to put this into context, when we open up a Java application, it might look something like this. You might have some class called my suite program and inside of here, you're going to have a main method. So uh, it's going to look something like that. <laughs> and inside this main method, we can create a variable. So we can say int x and we can assign it some value but we can also create a variable outside of this method up in the class. So when we create variables inside of the class, but not inside of a method, they're known as fields. So we can go in here, we could say public int test is equal to five. And now this variable is made accessible everywhere inside of this class. So if someone were to make an instance of this class, so they made an object of this, this field would be available to them and it would default to the value five. So let's translate this back into something we might create custom. All right, so we're back to where we began. We have this person class and we have this name field. When we instantiate it, we're going to have a person and this name field will have some values such as Caleb. So let's say we created this person like so. So we say person me equals new person and then we put parentheses at the end and a semicolon. So that is how we would create this person. Then we can access that field by saying me dot name, and we can assign it a value such as Caleb. So that is how we would do something such as assigning Caleb to that field. 